I am so excited to have one of our amazing facilitators that we just appreciate so much on every level, Holly Semenoff, um, back for an interview for the Fall 2015 Wild Women Symposium. Hi, Holly. Hello. <laughs> Once again, you are giving us some interesting um, workshops and you are going to be facilitating some amazing classes. But before we get into that, you are just a dynamo of a woman. I mean, you have so many skill sets and you are running a corporation and you have children. So let the ladies out there kind of get to know who you are. Okay. Uh, well, I am in a lot of different realms, as someone would say. I'm kind of seeing myself as a body, mind, spirit gal. Uh, I do a lot of body work in yoga. I've been a yoga instructor for over 12 years, and I'm also um, a professional fitness competitor. So I travel around the country and compete on a professional level in fitness. And I also get into the mind aspect of everything, considering what level that I compete on in the physical world. I have to be very, very strong mentally to push myself to a certain extent that sometimes I didn't believe I could, but as long as I was able to get my mind there, then it was able to get my body through it. And also through the yoga aspect, um, just through the breath and the breathing, which really connects body, mind, and spirit, breath, and then body there. And spirit has just always been my life. It's been my love. I can't help but look at everything and say, why? Why? <laughs> why are we here? What connects us? What drives you know us as human race and even as women to find happiness and how can we find that happiness so it's really just asking the questions for myself and then everything that I teach and everything I utilize is what I have learned and it's what I have experienced so that's how I teach and that's how I create classes it all comes from what has worked for me and then I teach that to other people because I know it works <laughs> now how can everybody get a hold of you you have a website yes so my website is bodyoflight.com, and that has a list of all my different workshops that I teach and just a little bit about me and what I'm all about with the body, mind, spirit. I love that. So you are going to be teaching a class at the Wildwood, Wild Women Symposium that is how to open to your spiritual gifts. So tell us about this class. Okay. Well, this is pretty much a foundational class. Uh, you can take it as deep as you want. If you're very new to all this spirit and spiritual gifts, then this is the perfect class. Even if you consider yourself as being in this world for a while, it's also a really great class. Uh, one beautiful thing about it is I like to create a class where no matter your experience or your perceived ability, you can get something out of it. So I created this class for all levels and it's about realizing what are your naturally inherited gifts. And specifically, we're talking about spirit. But what a lot of people don't recognize is these are naturally inherited gifts. It's what you utilize on a subtle level, even on an unconscious level, all the time in your life. So there's four main spiritual gifts. One is clairaudience. So it's actually hearing. It's hearing spirit. And that might be something like, say you're going to walk out into a road, and all of a sudden you hear something say, stop now. And you just stop. And then a car zooms by, and that car would have hit you. And that is actually a naturally inherited gift that some people have stronger than others, is to hear spirit. And then there's also the clear clairvoyance, which a lot of people are mostly familiar with, and that's actually seeing spirit. So spirit speaks to us in a very beautiful way. It's usually not just black and white. It goes very, very deep. So with a clairvoyant person, they would see, say, visions. It would be so deep, and there's so many different layers to a, different, to a vision. It's to colors to seeing a picture, and you get so much information in a picture, and then they can describe that picture to someone else, and it will speak directly to that other person about what they get to connect to spiritually. So it's seeing in a way that isn't necessarily material on the third dimension. It's very, very deep, and it has meaning. So even an aura, 
for example. An aura is an energetic field outside of the body, and a clairvoyant person would be able to see other people's auras. And auras have different colors, and those colors have information. And the information is actually what you're getting from that color. So it's recognizing if you are more of a clairvoyant person or more of a clear seeing person. So you meet someone and you just see different colors or you get a vision and then you talk to them about that. That's another gift. And then there's also the uh, clear feeling, which we talked about. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally messed up. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I'm feeling so much right now. Let me, let me get back into this moment. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm really, really a clear feeling sort of person. So it's recognizing what different gifts you have. So we talked about the clear feeling, clear audience, and then the clairvoyance. And then the last one is actually one that's the hardest for people to recognize is actually you just have this knowing. So you just know that something's going to happen or you just know that you get to be somewhere at a certain time. And that's the fourth one. And so you have these four main channels in which spirit speaks to you so through those different channels then you can recognize okay where's my strongest gift and then once you realize your strongest gift whether it be clear seeing clear being just a natural knowing or you actually hear spirit then you can begin to hone that and once you hone it and recognize it the more and more you utilize it then the stronger it becomes so a lot of our gifts are just like a muscle the more we use it, then the stronger it gets, and then the stronger it gets. And what actually is very interesting as well is once you recognize and accept your naturally inherited gift and you begin to work with it, then other ones begin to open. That is a big key here that sometimes people miss is we look at someone else's gifts and we want them so bad and we're like, oh, well, mine just kind of isn't as great as someone else's. But once you recognize and love your gift and you begin to utilize it, then all so many more doors open and you begin to open even more and more of the gifts that are hidden within that natural gift that you have. So it's really about just recognizing what are my spiritual gifts on a base level. And this is a naturally inherited gift. It's nothing that you're really working towards and you're pushing yourself to do. It's just what, what comes naturally to you. And that will be given in this class is to recognize, okay, what is my natural gifts? Okay, here's my natural gifts. Now, how can I hone those and really use them in my life consciously? And then once you begin to use them consciously, then the idea is to connect and to allow the other gifts to open as well, because everybody can have any of these spiritual gifts. But first, it's accepting yourself, which part of that is accepting your own naturally inherited gifts. And once you do that, then all the doors open and there's so many possibilities for you. And it really comes down to your free will and your choice. What do you really want to do? What is your passion? And in your passion, you will find your purpose. And within that are your gifts. So that's what it's all about. <laughs> I love this class. Yes, I agree with everything you said because I think everyone has these inherent gifts. But like you said, when you it's a gift, it's so automatic. You don't actually recognize it some, sometimes as a gift. And this is a perfect class for those people out there that feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have a gift. And I believe everyone has an intuitive gift. And like you said, it's about opening to what you have and then connecting with the others as they naturally open up. This is going to be a great class. So ladies, the Wild Women Symposium is October 2nd through 4th, 2015. It will be at the beautiful Leonardo Center. Tickets are available right now at Eventbrite. Once you register uh, for the event, you will get a link to go to thesketch.org and you can actually register for Holly's amazing class, which you don't want to miss. We look forward to having you at the Wild Women Symposium and thank you, Holly, for this interview today. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs>